Hi guys! So to start with this first video uh, and this journey, I started by questioning myself how do I apply sustainable development uh, in practice in my daily life? Um, it's for me a, such a big question that I had no idea where to start with. So I would say my personal journey starts with a spiritual journey uh, back then in the Netherlands where I did my Erasmus and then my Master in Sustainability. I've met a lot of incredible people who actually showed me a way to be more eco-friendly daily. I've met amazing teachers uh, telling us about the climate crisis. So all of these people completely changed my mind and kind of resetted my mindset. Um, I got this little switch in my mind that made me aware of all the things that were going wrong in the world and that people usually don't see. But then I had to go through this denial phase where I completely forgot everything that I had learned because I thought I was actually too small to make a change. And then I had to overcome this action value gap. It's a theory where your actions don't match your values. So I had this awareness for two years, but I wasn't doing much about it. Then now here I am trying to save the world. So that's the end of my journey and that's how I'm here with you, talking with you. So now, let me tell you a bit more about the first steps of this journey. This month, I decided to start acting following the little step theory that makes me implement one little change at a time. First, I decided to have a look at the Leeds Farmer Market in the north of Edinburgh. The market is actually small but full of amazing local food. We opted for lunch with a meaty scotch egg and vegan local pies. Moreover, I started replacing some products with better eco-friendly alternatives. I'm now drinking Scottish tea from tea leaves to avoid single-use plastic bags and I got this new biodegradable phone case that won't harm the environment anymore. I also made my own candles for the first time with natural and local beeswax found on Etsy. I also started to refill my shower gel bottle and did some proper eco-friendly shopping. I finally enjoy some day trips in nature to remember how lucky we were to have all these eco-services around us. So I do have noticed some struggles in my journey. First of all, it's not easy to live sustainably. Some products are easier to find than others and the price is actually not the same. Sometimes I also feel overwhelmed by the amount of things that aren't sustainable in my daily life or things that I do. Uh, it's also tricky because you can finally find an alternative for products, toothbrush for instance, but then you'll have to find an alternative for your deodorant, your makeup removal and other things. Uh, so it's a big challenge daily and it's not easy. One last thing is, uh, I was so happy about this biodegradable phone case that I ordered uh, because I'm not gonna put it anymore when I have to throw it away. Um, but then I discovered it was sent from the US instead of the warehouse in the EU. Uh, so it's a lot of transport, a lot of uh, carbon emission for a little package uh, that I wish I knew and I had avoided. So this made me understand that I can try to be more sustainable, but I can't be perfect. And it's hard to accept and it's a big challenge, but uh, I'm doing my best and it's little steps are gonna make a difference in the long term. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going and see what happens. And don't hesitate to follow me on my journey. See you later.